Yes. Um, interesting. You know, I, I would put that in two classes. I think one of the biggest influences on him philosophically, but not musically necessarily, is Charles Ives. Ives was virtually unknown, and Herman is a young man in his late teens, early 20s, discovered uh, Ives' second, I think it was the second symphony at the New York Public Library, the score, and he sought out Ives, who was you know, retired and elderly, but he lived till 1954, and uh, Ives really became a mentor and, and gave Herman, I think, the the encouragement that it was okay to go your own way, to hear things differently, and to uh, to have a very strong opinion that was counter to others. Uh, and musically, he loved British composers. I think in that opening of the Trouble with Harry, and I'm, I'm not suggesting it's a lift, but it, certainly those four notes that begin the theme are are similar to a Holst theme in the Planets. And uh, you know, he was not in, he was not a musical. Magpie. He wasn't a thief of other people's music, but I think harmonically he loved Vaughn Williams and Elgar, and uh, and and so he loved uh, Shostakovich. I mean, you, you can hear uh, you know, Bartok. I think is an influence on Psycho, uh, and uh, so you know I think he was very interested in music of all times, of his own time and of centuries before. And it's funny, some of his own favorite projects were ones where he writes pastiches of Georgian era music, things like The Three Worlds of Gulliver, oh, yeah. and a, a film called Williamsburg, Story of a Patriot that, the, that he did, just uh, to, that's you see if you go to Williamsburg. Mm -hmm. He loved working on those, <laughs> so there was, there was, it was so opposite from him, but he loved that kind of music. But, but his own voice, I think, was, was a pretty unique one, and uh, obviously you know, has influences, but those are the ones that come to mind. That's good. Yes.